Or, Hello, be, everybody. Uh, Greetings. Hi. Hi. Mom, good. Hi, back. Hey, it's me. I'm back. Da, 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 Hi, back. Da, da, da. I see uh, Crown is AFK. I literally was like, he's not back yet. I can get up and go to the bathroom. It's quick. okay. <laughs> the recap will be long enough. I'll stretch it out. You know Perfect. what? Yeah, let's yeah, go, back. go to use the restroom. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a recap today. I have been informed that it is going to be a longer recap, only because there was a lot of lore involved. So yeah, and some of it might have been incorrectly written. So bear with me, guys. I was really sick last week, yeah. And so this is my brain spaghetti recap that you're Every, getting. Everyone understands. This is essentially a sick person's recap. And yeah, we'll, uh, <laughs> a sick person. A a sick person. Like you. It's her magnum opus. Yeah, indeed. All right, uh, but ready we'll, for this? But we'll do, we'll course correct as we need to. Yeah, go for it. All right, on the last episode, we did a little rest after our glorious battle with Oswin, the last flail snail in existence, the final boss of Eldorus' test. Everyone got to feeling a little better before we were interrupted by the creaking of a bookshelf on the far side of the room, swinging open and revealing a light beyond. We entered Eldorus' private study and prepared to wake up the wizard himself. He didn't respond to poking, so we used the Speak with Dead card that Guilty Spark had given us in the library. Marius read out the incantation and Eldorus' eyes opened. We asked him our five questions, with Cheats accidentally asking a casual, irrelevant one, and he answered them in a very wizardy asshole way. <laughs> what items or means are there to defeat Cosma? There are several. What are the Magister's secrets? Which Magister? And at the end of our five questions, Eldorus laughed. He had pranked us. We had about 24 hours to talk to him and get the answers we needed. And he had been waiting for however long since he had died to make that joke. It was actually really funny. He got us good. Anyway, Aldorus had made the means to fight against the Cosma, a simulation of sorts. Uh, the simulation was a means uh, made by actually Levin, possibly, and not Aldorus, but it could have also been Aldorus, the headmaster of the academy, training them to fight against Cosma. We started showing Aldorus all of the pictures of Ganymede and the Ganymedians, Cosma Tara, the Shattered Planet, and catching him up on a little bit of what was going on. Aldorus started telling us about the glorious wizards, heroes, and goblins that sacrificed a great deal to kill Cosma, including one who paid the final price to give them just the opportunity to harm Cosmacara at all. He told us that we could access the simulation at the Exodus Academy, Academy of Assassins or something, in Northern Ishtar, the Academy of Shadows. <laughs> formerly wizards, but after the defeat of the Shadow Lords of over a thousand years ago, the Academy was given to the goblins and led by Mono or Motto, who used the Academy to train rogues and monks instead of wizards. Then it was moved to Southern Ishtar. Aldorus mentioned that the Academy of Shadows was the way to get to the Astral Academy, an academy in the Astral Veil itself. He said he was willing to give us the key, but he was hoping that the people that would need it would be great wizards. So we asserted that Gareth, in fact, was a great wizard. He started telling us about Gideon uh, and also Gloria Kronos, who was imprisoned by a jinn named Thalamore. Demetrius Valensworth was part of a cult of mages who surrendered themselves to the shadow, and Valensworth had become a shadow lord, Asura. <laughs> Demetrius liked to make deals with powerful beings like that djinn, and he made the deal to make the djinn go after Gloria. The prison guard for Gloria was a great dragon, and the dragon was the reason time in the Astral Veil moved differently and more slowly. Gideon and Gloria had gone after the dragon, and that was the last Eldorus had ever heard of them. Well, in the end, Eldorus gave the key to the Astral Academy to Gareth, the true wizard among us. It was a slightly glowing standard key, the Key of Wonders that unlocks a door and a hallway and the Astral Academy. He also recommended that we learn Counterspell and Polymorph to turn the dragon into a fish if we should find it. Don't eat polymorphed creatures. That was also advice. Cheats remembered through Hyo the class stone uh, that changed people's classes. She rolled high enough via fate to have three options. To change her class, subclass, to an arcane trickster with a slight modification and she could learn spells as if she were a wizard. For Gareth to become an Eldritch Knight with the same ruling, uh, or uh, for a complete class change for any one person. Anyway, we were tasked with heading to the Exodus Academy, using the key, getting through the labyrinth, getting to the Astral Academy, and then using the simulation to learn if, uh, if, if the simulation was still around, or more dangerously, 
to maybe go find out what happened to Gideon in the Astral Veil itself and the dragon and potentially Gloria. And then a third option would be to make a deal with the dangerous creature like the djinn to find out what happened to Thalamore, the djinn. Uh, and because the djinn are always open to new deals and this one is particularly troublesome. He also told us that we could learn any wizard spell up to level six for free in his uh, study before we left. And then he quoted, do not be pawns, but be queens. And that even in the great, the greatest face of greatest fear to take courage in your friends. And then we asked him what his favorite color was. And he said beige. And we scoffed and we left. <laughs> Honestly, like 95% of that was correct. But, great. Yeah, it was very good. It was, uh, it was a, lot of, uh, a lot of information that you'll slowly have to digest through uh, the next season. So you're good. You're you were good to go there. Couple of corrections, not too, not too many though. Um, so the simulation itself is within the Astral Academy, not the Exodus Academy. The Exodus yeah. Academy is located uh, here, like you said. You you said that correctly. Um, and the key uh, is a key that you can open in the Exodus Academy that will take you to the Astral Veil. So that's what the the key's purpose is for. Is essentially a, a planar travel key from a specific location. But other than that, like that, yeah, yeah you, you pretty much hit the nail on the head. There's a lot of different areas that in locations you guys will be able to research to explore next season. And I'll make sure that we uh, we touch bases on all of those along the way. But yes, your next step Excellent. is to head to the Exus Academy over in northern Ishtar. Uh, hopefully, uh, which, yes, the uh, Exodus Academy used to be an Academy of Wizards a long time ago. Now it is an Academy of Assassins. So that is run by the Goblin Model, uh, M-O-T-T-L-E, or, or was about, you know, way in the past. It's run by someone completely different now. But, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's that. And the last note is before you decided to go, uh, you all decided that you wanted to potentially, since you were given permission by Eldorus to go go within, um, but do so cautiously. The Forbidden Library, the Forbidden Archives. See what the heck was in there? What is that book all about? Which you forbid oh you a little bit about. It's a, it's a book of spell crafting. No, um, you should ignore it. And we'll uh, see if, if you would decide to ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> this session uh, wraps up pretty quickly. At that point. <laughs> so, uh, which is is fine. You can. You are free to have changed your mind after a after a week. We'll do a we'll do a, a lackluster bingo. Uh, we'll do, do the last of the fan art, <laughs> no! and, and we we will. That wasn't as a guilt trip. It's just more of like if we don't do a session, the bingo. Hurry, someone talk about BioRP. And then <laughs> <laughs> somebody. <laughs> in a jar quickly um, uh, i spit in someone's mouth being? wow wow that's so cursed <laughs> ah. Ah. all right we've knocked three Bingo, out yay. <laughs> yeah. oh, you pee. all right guys time to go <laughs> <laughs> so um, i asked guilty spark if he peed he said yes it was wow that, okay that's power rp i don't allow that <laughs> <laughs> i'm <laughs> rattling in place i can't move because the game's paused yes. i'm trying to get to the door <laughs> <laughs> i gotta go i gotta go <laughs> get me out of here all right Wait, did guilty spark <laughs> greet us when we came back out well we're this it's it's time okay everyone's jumping in let's okay freaking do this dude <laughs> hey guilty spark do you pay <laughs> I will ignore that. Uh, <laughs> I was like, "Cheats would have asked that." I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're gonna power game my own character. I, I see you I, well, I don't okay. think. I, 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 uh, I formed my objection. Uh, if you decide, <laughs> if you decide otherwise and continue to push it, I'm like, all right, guess, guess that is cheats. Never mind. I consider myself <laughs> educated properly. <laughs> Wait, did Eldorus tell us that we could take Guilty Spark with us if he wanted to leave? No. <laughs> no, that I'm pretty sure that never happened. <laughs> Joe just pops in. Yeah, sure. Yeah, go for it. And he did say that if, if Guilty Spark wanted us to, we could upgrade him. Yes. Like, sure. That's a big go if. For it. Yeah, but you never actually said, said. artificer. 
Yeah, it's time to talk to Guilty Spark. <laughs> Artificer in the he party. He blinks. Every time he blinks, I'm yeah. a little closer to him. <laughs> so hand <out> stretched. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, before I unpause, uh, you guys will have um, returned back to the uh, academies, uh, the sort of uh, the simulacrum of the academy, um, because of an interest in potentially looking to the Forbidden Library. Uh, you've crashed your way into the library, where you are have been greeted uh, by one, uh, this this lovely monodroid over here that you have lovingly called Guilty Spark, who's sort of hanging out in this library. And the player will turn over and says, oh, you're back. Hello. You remember us? Greetings. Oh, yes, uh, but my memory is not uh, scheduled to be wiped for another... Hmm. Did you guys take a long rest or nah? Hmm. No. I don't think so. We okay. did, like, the respite points after the boss. Yes. But I know and there was could, potential yeah. conversation. We have plans long rest. to do a long rest, but yeah. no, we haven't done it yet. Okay. Oh, well, uh, I'm scheduled to wipe my memory here about the next... Um, hmm. Looks like about uh, 23 hours and 50, 50 minutes. Or sorry, 20... Uh, b -b 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 -b. Yeah, about 21 hours from now. But well, why would you do that? Oh, it's because I need to make room in my memory banks for the next person that visits. You actually don't have to do that, though. Oh? Yeah. But I've been programmed to do so. Um... Maybe it's a bug. But by, like, who? Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> he shrugs a little bit. It is, wait, within, it, it is a uh, procedure that's been placed within my mainframe. And we talked oh to Eldoris. What if somebody else has come in here and did that then? You know, Eldoris said that you were free to make your own decisions. Oh. Well, then. That must be what happened. At some point down the line, I decided to make sure to make, make to, to ensure that my memory made frame wouldn't fry out over the many, many years that I would be here. I have put simple procedures in place to ensure that my memory never burns out. This must have been he a choice that, I've made a long time ago. He said that he hoped that you would become kind of like independent and choose your own name and and have, you know, a mind of your own. Oh. That sounds lovely. You can't nope. do that if you're losing your memory all the time. Hmm. You're just trapped in your processes. Well, true. But my uh, my goal here is to be the tour guide of the memory of the Academy. So I guess I must have put some safety procedures in place to ensure that I could do that for many more years to come. Huh. Keeping my memory as efficient as possible will make me an excellent tour guide. Or at least well, I would like, believe so. She puts her hand on the back of Marius's like big, like like the plated back. And pushes him forward. What am I doing? What? Come on. <laughs> Can we have more room? Upgrade him. She like bangs on her legs. <coughs> ting ting. ting. <laughs> Upgrade him. Well, first things first. Um it doesn't feel right to call you Guilty Spark anymore after speaking with Eldorus. Do you have a name that you would like to be referred to as? Hmm. Uh, one moment, please. Let me go ahead and check my memory banks. Oh, no. It seems... Hmm. I was the 82nd monodrone that was created under a program known as The Inevitable. What the fuck? So I guess you could call me Designation 82. We can do that. Okay. What up, 80s? Like the whole thing or just 82? Oh, I mean, it's my designation. Yeah, I don't have a date. You can choose one if you ever want to. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Hmm. I'll have to do a self-diagnostics at some point in time to see if we can make room in the memory banks for a name. <sighs> I don't know if that would be efficient for me as a tour guide, though. Well, you know, um, when we, um, when Marius offered to upgrade you and then you said that you'd have to get Althoris's permission, well, he said it was up to you if you wanted that. So, like, 
She looks at Marius. Uh, he, he could probably help you be more efficient and have better storage. Oh, uh, if you'd so, like, so it would Aldor make you a better tour guide. Oh, Aldoris, uh, uh, granted permission, you say? Um, he said that you have uh, administrator rights to grant yourself permission. Oh, well, wonderful. I'll make a note of that now. <laughs> note has been added to my mainframe that I have administrative rights to make any adjustment necessary for the enhancement of the tour. Hmm, it seems I have already given myself these rights 200, 447 years ago. Interesting. Then you forgot. Hmm. Well, I suppose I did. Maybe it was something that I accidentally wiped. I know. I'll make sure to lock that note. Oh, what's this? It seems that I have a picture file within my memory as well. <laughs> if you would like, 82, I can offer my services as an artificer to potentially help alleviate your memory burden. He watches the, the major eye blinks and stares over at you and says, Hmm. How proficient are you within the programming of a monodrome? I would hate for you to do something by accident and then render me useless when it comes to giving tours. Well, I'll need to look uh, and see what your internal mechanisms are and see if they are at all familiar to me. But... Uh, my teachers called me a quick learner, as it were. Go ahead and do a persuasion check. Yeah, look at these. It's in my legs. In my ears. And he upgraded my oven. In my face. I'm not the most charismatic, by the way. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. Uh, Use my panache. He'll, uh, he'll, <laughs> he'll get, get panache. <sighs> What? It, it, it helps! Uh. Yeah, go for it. So what- I what, don't what, uh, know what it does. Yeah, go- what does what uh, the panache do? <sighs> help. As an action, you can make a persuasion check, a contest by the wisdom insight check. If you succeed, the cre and the creature is hostile towards you, at disadvantage on attack rolls. If you succeed in the check and the creature isn't hostile to you, it's charmed by you for one minute. Understood. All right. Go ahead and it's make awesome. that persuasion check. Let's go ahead it's and like end, uh, the do it. It's like only charm that <laughs> doesn't alert them afterwards. It's great. Okay. Let's see what you got. Oh, God. Persuasion. How do I... Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, I can do this. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> as you two are doing your best to try and persuade this individual, it'll blink a little bit. Um, and with your panache, kind of will, like, look over to the two of you and state, eh, well, I suppose if you feel confident. Uh, however, I'm afraid I must make sure I put some safeguards in, in place so that if you start to tamper with something and it seems to be hmm, dangerous to the mainframe, I have to quickly shut you down. I'll shut you down by saying no. Does that work for you? That works for me, if you're comfortable with it. Mm. Doesn't matter what I think. Well, it's your decision. You have the administrator rights. Hmm. So I have permission. But then at the same time, I have the administrative rights. But, hmm. You have permission to make decisions about yourself. Oh, that is very interesting. I'm calculating the decision right now. Oh, God, he fought it. Calculation complete. All right, then. Mm, go ahead and make a minor adjustment, and then I'll see how I'm feeling then. What are you feeling? What do you think about doing? Well, let's take a look at your... Uh your orbital socket. Let's see how well you're perceiving things. Hmm. Understood. Uh, you can go ahead and, and uh, make the adjustments here. He points at the center of his iris. <laughs> <laughs> Marius uh, <laughs> sort of has to... Uh, he, he Even kneeling down, he's too large in his current armor. Um, and uh, he'll, the, he'll flap up to your face. 
<laughs> oh, I would prefer that you're on uh, stable ground. Yeah, understood. Lands back down. The back peels apart on the armor, and Marius, sort of grabbing the handles, pulls himself uh, out of his uh, Titan core. She helps. He gets helped. <laughs> okay. Understood. Uh, now in his sort of more comfortable clothing outside of the, the more bulky armor, uh, he would gather his tool, and uh, we're going to try to help this lad. What we're going to do is I'm going to cast on myself uh, Enhance Ability. Okay. Uh, and we are going to... We are going to give ourselves uh, Fox's Cunning. Okay. So that you have uh, advantage, advantage on, on intelligence speed. checks. All right. We're going to now try and uh, do a minor upgrade. See, what's, uh, see what we can do with 82. Okay. Uh, using uh, our tools. All right. Give me one second, please. All right. We're going to... So we're saying we're calling him 82 now. As his designation. So give me one second. Let me go ahead and just... Uh, oh my God, he died. Kill him right here, right in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> Mario gets out of the worked. armor. He fucking explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, all right, here we go. A boop. I just want to make sure I update this. Excellent. All right. Uh, go ahead and see you're trying an optical upgrade. Is that correct? Correct. Go ahead and give me the check. And I'll let you know what the effect ends up being. All right. Am I rolling? Which tool am I rolling with? Well, uh, since we're dealing with uh, constructs, I would say tinkers tools, please. Understood. Beautiful. Uh, so with a quick uh, yeah. modification here and there, uh, go ahead and yeah, describe what you do. Uh, yeah, Marius uh, sort of kneeling down in front of 82, uh, using his clawed hand and sort of keeping the eye center, the other hand now doing the more intricate, more uh, more delicate work and sort of uh, taking what looks to be a small pointed uh, edge of one of his, uh, like, uh, one of his light tools and you would watch as he begins what looks to be like repairing small little circuits on the inside of the eye. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are, uh, we're attempting to either double his vision or make his vision more clear. All right. Uh, so uh, what you've effectively done with this, give me one second. All right. Uh, so the modifications that you have done uh, have increased 82's wisdom by two. In addition, 82 is now proficient at perception checks. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. He'll blink a little bit and say, oh, wow, that is indeed much better. What else can you do with my vision? See if you could rattle around in there and find anything else that would work for me. <sighs> well, there are a number of... Uh... Actually, I should ask this before uh, fucking assuming as Mark. Are automatons a thing in Arkmund? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like constructs and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, there are a, a set of constructs within Arkmund itself proper that have um, what my mentors refer to as infrared. It would allow you to see uh, creatures that are not visible to the naked eye. Oh. Oh, well. Well, I'm already proficient in that. This eye over here um, is able to see the minute detail even from creatures that are invisible. Above table, he has true sight 120 feet. Ooh, I literally don't have to do anything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I suppose as when it comes to eye optics, you've already maximized the best that I can, or at least at this point. Hmm, very good. Anything else that you would give me would be a fine tune to my ocular unit. What about his memory so he can remember us forever and ever and ever and not just in the depths of his data banks? Hmm. Yeah. Well, I suppose you could do that. Hmm. 
But perhaps uh, one more check, if you'd be so kind. Uh, maybe go ahead and look in there and see if there's any other further improvements. I want you to maximize this to the best as it can. Points as his eye once once more. <laughs> so go ahead and give me another Tinker's Tools check. Give his eye a gun. Can we talk about Woo! your just casual plus 13? Wow. Little, yeah, with the amazing. little... Yeah. Mm. yeah. All right. Little YouTube safe word. Uh, their wisdom score will increase by a further plus three. In addition, oh their perception check is now at an expertise level. And now uh, they've gained proficiency in investigation. Wow. Well. <laughs> I got a weird above board uh, thing. Maybe we should have waited to do this before we tried to go into the... Uh... Um, hey. Permission. I thought about that too. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What were you saying about board? <laughs> Nothing. It's fine. <laughs> uh, pulling the small welding tool away and having repaired uh, what appears to just be some older uh, circuits within the eye, he'd uh, sort of rub over the uh, rub over the entirety of it with his thumb, sort of satisfied with its appearance, and then pull his tool away. And how about now? Oh, this is very impressive. Oh, I see. You seem to have unlocked an ability for me to process more information as I'm able to uh, perceive it. Hmm, very good. Hmm. Although I don't think there's much I can do with this with my current mainframe. All right, then. I feel confident that you're very proficient when it comes to making upgrades to uh, myself. If you wish to expand upon my memory banks, I shall trust you to do so. Uh, you'll watch as uh, as you have been calling 82 and the party has been calling Guilty Spark sort of turns its back over to you. You'll see a compartment at the back of its, uh, uh, kind of like in the upper back of the unit kind of pop open. Uh, there, uh, you will see a uh, mental mainframe of sorts. It almost looks as if it was an autonomous brain. Ew. Ew, gross. Cool, but gross. You seem to be very interested. It's just leaning over his shoulder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you seem to be very uh, particularly interested in uh, uh, updating the memory space that I have. Um, so I will allow you to do so. Well, please be careful, though, as uh, any sort of mistake that you make uh, would pers <laughs> would be fatal to me. Oh, 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 yikes. So uh, if you do not meet the DC, there is a chance that you may actually fry this unit's brain. <laughs> oh, no. <Yeah>. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> no. Um, okay. So. <laughs> Advantage plus 13, what could go wrong? I'm going to. Okay, thanks. Flash of genius. And make this a plus 17. Jeez. Oh my god! <laughs> what the f. So that'll oh, be a 27. What? Oh, sorry, 28. Oh, sorry. 20. <laughs> What the fuck, Bo? Oh, needed to be a 30. So. I'm so sorry. You killed your best friend in the world. Explode. I'm just saying, like, I feel like that's like something I would say to fuck with you. All right. So, with that, uh, you will increase uh, 82's intelligence score by 8. Uh, with Yo, man. Whoa, uh, very whoa, much update, uh, updating the memory frame to a more uh, oh modern gosh. standard of things. You're using Windows 95. You do that <laughs> <laughs> You'll watch as 82 kind of blinks once again and says, that is an unusual feeling. Oh, wow. But you seem to have expanded my memory banks by, <laughs> well, a lot. I feel, I'm feeling more confident that I would be able to maintain this my memory for as long that it is needed. <clears throat> Thank you. Mm -hmm. There's a moment where Marius is just sort of staring, uh, having pulled his uh, his tools away, and there's a, a very small nod as he uh, closes the compartment entirely. Thank you for allowing me to help. Hmm. He'll look at all of you and say, 
You know what? Even though my designation was 82, I do remember the name, now that I have the memory banks to do so, of one guilty spark that you seem to have called me with fondness. I suppose, since you have expanded myself beyond limits that I didn't think were even possible, to honor you, I will take on the name Guilty Spark. Oh, wow. I'm glad but only if that's entirely your choice, you know, like, you don't have to, you, if you think of one later that, that you really like more than that, you can, you can change it and we won't be upset. Truthfully, uh, names to me feel, well, pointless. When it comes to oh. automated units like myself, uh, we use designations, serial codes, things of that nature. Names of them uh, they seem very, um, I suppose, emotionally charged and, and personal. I've never really found a use for it, and I still don't. However, since names seem to be important to the rest of you, then I suppose I should adopt one. And since you've called me Guilty Spark so fondly, that will be the name that I adapt to. Wow. I wish I could get upgraded like that. Yeah, can oh. you do that to me? Pick him up. Oh, oh it's, it's very, it's uh, very simple. All you have to do is replace some of your biological parts with something a bit more automated. Probably could do the same with your your cranium? That sounds dangerous. Have already done that. Marius looks at Cheats. We've already done that. Enough. I know! I know! Her, like, little cat ears on her head go... Tss, 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 tss. Hmm. Ah, what is the, uh, the mass within your cranium, then? Is it a brain? Like Biological? So. We're still mostly organic, though ah. missing some parts. Well, I suppose if you ever turn more cybernetic, eh, this one will be able to assist you very well. Points over at Marius. Nice. As I as I have reached a capacity beyond any limit that I thought was possible. He gives a another very curt nod and would begin crawling back into his armor. Oh, um well since <laughs> since you're making upgrades. <laughs> He's about halfway in, and then he <laughs> leans out again. Hmm? <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, it is rather a disappointment that we don't have food for the for anyone that visits the area. Instead, all we're doing is sort of working on a menu that kind of rotates day to day. But it would be interesting to actually fix the replication unit. <sighs> well, of course, I wouldn't expect you to do that. I would, wouldn't mind if you were to give me the ability to do so. Make simple fixes here and there. Uh, perhaps you can expand my memory unit so that I am able to use and f uh, use things such as tools and, and, and fundamental schematics to keep this place in working order after you leave. Oh god, he's learned hmm. how to manipulate. Give you some form of proficiency. Yes. I think that would do well. It wouldn't make sense. You are the caretaker. Hmm. He once more gets out of his armor. <laughs> and now, hold on. once more turns around and opens up his mental unit. Now, hold on. Who's what? to say? You know what? You, you should probably make like a promise that you don't do anything bad with this knowledge. What's he going to do? Give them like a better tour? Well, I don't know. Are you fearful that my gained knowledge will allow me to do something evil? I'm not saying that you'll do something evil, but what if, like, for example, you evolved your, like, processes to forget stuff. So what if it evolves in your processing of, like, how to protect everything to just kind of, like, I don't know, shoot on sight? Hmm. Query, then. What's to stop you from stabbing someone outside? Killing them? Oh. Yeah, but I'm squishy. But what's to stop you from doing it? What's to well, stop you from someone... murdering someone? Uh... I judge you their character. 
Mm. And you judge me of ill character? No. Just because someone is has the capability of doing something doesn't mean that they'll do it. You, I'm sure, are capable of doing many things that you wouldn't do. Filthy Spark, are you going to be more lonely now that your, your brain is bigger? Mm, I don't think so. I don't have a need of social... I don't have a need of uh, social interactions like you do. Okay. I enjoy, I enjoy them thoroughly. Uh, don't get me wrong. Are you going to be able to read a, all the books here now? I suppose I could. That's great. Now that I have the memory unit for it, it'd be good to make some backups. So, looks at Marius. Shall we begin? He uh, once more levels his tools. He's ready. All right. Just do what you did before. All right. Ooh. <laughs> wow, look at that one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right. What's about uh, to happen? Uh, you've increased Guilty Spark's intelligence by another four points. Oh, God. And you've granted him a proficiency uh, at Tinker's Tools. Wow. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. There's a lot more that I'll be able to do with the facilities after you leave. You're welcome. And if you would like, Marius reaches down to his, uh, to the sort of satchel that's on his leg. Uh, he would uh, flick it open and then would pull out his old set of tinkerer's tools that he no longer needs. <gasps> oh. I would offer them to 82. Oh, for me? You're going to need tools. Well, of course, but these tools are just kind of like look, looking it up and down. Uh, nothing like I've ever seen before. But I do feel like I have a better capability of understanding them. Oh, the wonders I'll be able to do, the things I'll be able to repair. Thank you kindly for this gift. You're welcome. This is so great. Hmm. Well, if I think of anything else, I suppose I will let you know while you're still here. Oh, why did you come back anyways? Oh, Elders gave us permission to go into the Forbidden Library and get the one book that he put in there. It's a book on spellmaking. Oh, okay. It is forbidden, though. Yeah, but he said we could risk it for the knowledge. I mean, I have nothing in my being to stop you. Just to warn you that it is forbidden. Zika looks at cheats. <laughs> looks back at Guilty Spark. Yep! <laughs> so, you got permission? Yep. And from who? Alluren. Oh. Well, um. I'm he said the book could come in handy to save the world. Because it's right. a book on spellmaking. And while that is true, and because you've told me that, there's nothing really I can do to stop you. You're free to go back there. However, Madam Hush may object. Yeah. She, she is. Something like that. She is outside of Aldoris's control. Then why is she in here? She's been guarding the Forbidden Archives for well over a thousand years now. Wow. Yeah, but he said everything in here was his memory. So why couldn't he be able to tell her to let us get in there? Oh, not the Forbidden Archives. I've been able to access some previous memories now that you've expanded my memory bank. While it's true, all of this is a facsimile created by Aldoris' mind. The Forbidden Archives are not a facsimile. They were brought here to protect the forbidden books, to make sure that they did not get into wrong hands. Aldoris wanted to make sure that they were buried with them. So the, I'm, I'm afraid the forbidden archive that is back there now is, in actuality, a forbidden archive from well over a thousand years ago, originally from the Exodus Academy. That's amazing. So, the 
There's more in there. I'm afraid the only one thing I know of is what you do. The Book of Spellcraft. How'd you know that? I was able to access it in my newly expanded memory banks. There's been plenty of information that I've left archived, specifically so that I would be able to keep the memories that I had and able to be an efficient tour guide. With your help, I'm able to I'm able to unarchive these these memories. Wow. This is incredible. The spellcrafting book would be able to assist you. However, I would advise caution if you were to look through other books. Aldor said that there wouldn't actually be any other books in there. But I get, and maybe he's wrong? Are you saying that he's wrong? We mm. just said that they, this is the real archive. Right, but then Aldor said that, that there was, he made it. He mm. may, he might have made the room, but the books themselves definitely belong to the old Forbidden Archive. <gasps> wow. Perhaps he just said it to protect us. Maybe. The contents of the book itself, the books themselves within the, uh, within the archives are unfamiliar even to me. Well, we didn't get permission to get any other books. So we can maybe get just that one book. Hmm. Yes, the Book of Spellcrafting it was a very important book to him. It allowed him to create his, his signature spell. Check. Yeah. Hmm. However, Why? it seemed he wanted to keep the book sealed because of something that had happened to them. Happened to what? Hmm. Accessing the database. Hmm. I'm uncertain if Aldorus wanted you to know this information. However, since you have done me a great service today, perhaps I can st I can share this information, even if you wish to keep it secret between friends. Between friends. Friends, yes. Yeah. Hmm. Accessing the memory. It was apparently one of his first days within the academy. Him, along with other fellow students that he was familiar with. Eleonora Mordov, Tremor Cushions, and Gideon. Hmm. <laughs> One second. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, sorry. And Gideon's Snowfall. The four of them were given a test to see if they can make spells from a spellcrafting book that was given to them. Indeed, they were able to do so. However, unbeknownst to the academia, to the instructors and the, acad and the academy itself. There was apparently a deep hidden spell that was locked within the book. It seems that Eleonora Mordov was able to decipher that spell with her wit and smarts. What she didn't realize and what everyone came to find out much later Eleonora became marked by deciphering the script, specifically that marked by the clan of Cosma, and thus brought the cycle that invited Cosma Kara to our world. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh. Fault. So, because of this, Aldurus thought, thought it pertinent to keep that spell book locked away so that misfortune wouldn't fall upon those that would read it. Oh, that makes sense. 
friends. So, if you have been given permission to go into the book, it is because Aldoris must have high hopes for you. And hopefully, you will not, you will be careful of what you decipher when you find the connections within. Maybe it can even help us send them back, you know, get rid of them. Mm. I would yeah, be- Yeah, because you can't have an antidote without a poison. That's true. Just be careful that you don't poison yourself in the process. Well, you mark... ain't got to worry about that. I ain't got the brain to read that kind of thing. The Mark of Cosma, from my understanding, created an almost honing, a, a honing mark upon the user. When Aldoris, Eleonora, Gideon, and Tremor fell into the Astral Veil and met Levin within the Astral Academy, upon it... it Upon exploring the Astral's landscape, there, lying in wait, was Cosmicara, who sensed the mark upon Eleonora. So, again, I caution you. Be careful of what you decipher within that book. Because Cosma is always watching and waiting. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what if we... What if we did it on purpose? <gasps> yeah, when we have, like, a plan of attack? In a place where they couldn't harm anybody. Sounds like we definitely need this book. Don't blink a little bit. If you plan on taking the book outside of the Forbidden Archives... The responsibility of the book will now be upon you. We can always bring it back. Eldora says that we can come back here as many times as we want. Mm, that's true. Unfortunately, the book is protected in the safety of the library. The safety of the crypt. But if you were to take the book out, mm. leave the crypt, and put it out in the open, mm. just make sure that you keep a hold of it. So that no one else can get it. It's probably good to find out who your friends are and who are merely pretending. You got a lot more wise. Well, with the expansion of my memory unit, I'm able to theorize a bit more. This is fascinating. You've given me quite a gift. We're gonna come back and you're gonna have a whole city in here. A city, huh? Would give me something to do. Hmm. Anyways, I apologize for keeping you here. If you've been given permission by Aldoris to enter the Forbidden Archives, then I will not stop you. But I must advise you that Madam Hush still hides within the archives. And even though Aldoris has granted you permission to enter, I'm afraid it will be the librarian that you will have to deal with. Any so advice? make sure that you are prepared. What did you ask me? you like cakes? Any, any advice? Oh, any advice? <laughs> I'm afraid, <laughs> from my understanding, she does not have any need for food. Oh. Any non-food advice? Beware of her whale. <laughs> Vizika stuffs her fingers into her ears. Okay! <laughs> I can just turn them off. <laughs> 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 All right, then. With that, I shall await for your safe return. Okay. I'll stay See here. You later. I'll stay here oh, in the well. meanwhile. <laughs> Perhaps now is a good time to rest. Can we take a nap here? 
Oh, you're more than welcome to rest here as long as you need. Okay, what's that? You can take your fingers exactly. out of your ears now. <laughs> she does it. Okay. <laughs> She's just, just really standing there anyway. independently, <laughs> like blinking independently. <laughs> she can't hear anybody. Marius reaches over and uh, taps the top of her ear so she feels the vibration. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to rest. Oh, okay. If Good. both of you are fine with it, looking to Gareth and Vanya. Yes. Certainly. Certainly. All right. Uh, will you be taking a short rest or a long rest? I vote for a long rest. I also <laughs> need a long rest. <laughs> <sighs> it's been a while. Then go ahead and take a long rest. like the lounge emotes with like the neck roll like where they're just like scrunched <laughs> back into themselves that's that's what she could cheat just <laughs> <laughs> all right go ahead and head into your character sheet and do yourself a long rest by pressing the l rest button oh wait hold on i think i think my character sheet is messed up yeah. <laughs> uh go ahead and do a long rest now marius uh, what's wrong with your character sheet? Mm, all the stats are like, instead of the actual names, it's like D&D 5e dot skill, blah, 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 this. Oh, and I, it, I think that's on your side because I'm looking at your character sheet and it's fine. Okay. Let me refresh. Yeah. Do you not reset all of your hit dice when you long rest? Uh, you only you reset get half. Half of your hit dice. Ooh. That's why it's very imperative you don't use all of them Ooh. with your flask. I see. <laughs> Rut row. It's okay. I had three. Now I have seven. I'm sure you'll be fine. Smile. There we go. Uh, much better. Wow. All right. It looks like everyone has long rested. Eight hours have passed. Are you all still sleeping? We're not just like Vizika and she's just a pile. I'm up, I'm up. A little paw on her face. <laughs> yeah, the tail's like covering your <laughs> knees. <laughs> Marius is on his phone. <laughs> Vizika starts stretching and it like pushes your face to the side. Vanya is going to extend both arms and pat both Vizika and Cheats. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Time to go. Cheats is just there, like, eyes narrowed as little paws are squishing the only cheeks, like, that she has. Vizika <sighs> walks over Cheats to get off the couch. She falls over the edge of the back. Ow! That was a nice nap. You're a menace. You slept for eight hours. It's not a nap. That's a nice nap. That's not. Never mind. Say, do you hibernate? No. You don't. <laughs> DM, do you reckon hibernate? <laughs> no. <laughs> she lied as easily as she breathes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do not hibernate. No. Do you store food for winter? Yes. Oh. That's cool. I also store food for summer. And for oh. the spring. And for the fall. And for just in case I get hungry at like 4 o'clock. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, we doing this? Yes, how, how was your previous encounter with Madam Hush? Um, awful. What? Can you tell <laughs> us anything about it? Uh, well, 
I took the book hmm. and I uh, I read it like the cover, and then things got real scary, and uh, I felt like I couldn't I couldn't hear anything but her. Like she was all up in my ears, and she asked me if I was willing to die for her, for for the knowledge I see, seek or something. Hmm. Oh. So, well. did did she have a physical form? Not that I could see. Everything was real dark. Hmm. Perhaps only the one who takes the book may hear of her. Well, one way to find out. The door did shut on me, though. Oh. Perhaps we can prop the door open somehow. Hey, Mr. Spark, is there a doorstop somewhere? Hmm? Is there a doorstop somewhere? Um, not really. I have no use for them. Oh, okay. Why not just use that? Points at your staff. Because I need it. Okay. I could make one. <laughs> okay. Or maybe remove the door altogether. Mm. It's very involved. It's possible. Hmm. Well, let's see what we're dealing with, I suppose. All right. You make your way over to the Forbidden Archive. They play different music over here. <laughs> oh, sorry. Fred, this engineering. <laughs> this is amazing. That... Ah, it made my whole... smart. <laughs> my, oh, my, my, my brain. I was able to hold more MP3s. <laughs> wow. I downloaded LimeWire on him. Ah. No! Where are this you going, my... Gavin? This is my old study. What? <laughs> what? This is where I went to uh. school. <laughs> oh, excuse, oh. <clears throat> oh, excuse the, me. Oh, excuse this is where me. I learned oh, the oh, me. detect invisibility spell. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> good, good. Anyway, very nice. anyway, the door is up there. Mm. Can you open it? Um. <laughs> Do you want to yeah. open it? Sure. I can go first if you wish. It's like a uh, yeah. there's like a shutter, like an electric shutter that goes to, like down her body as she reaches for the door, and like her hair stands on end. Uh, You're not here alone this time. It is a mission. She opens the door. I guess fireball. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> I burned the archives. <laughs> she says, stepped into the forbidden archives. Gareth wants to take a look at the door. Is it tough to disassemble? It's a <laughs> wooden door with uh, normal hinges. Normal hinges? Hmm. It opens like any other door. Hmm. She would like to attempt to disassemble one of the hinges. Uh, okay. Go ahead and make a smithing's tools check. Ooh. Uh, inventory. There we go. Check. Oh my god. <laughs> easy. Oh, very easy. Uh, yeah, you quickly disassemble one of the, the hinges. Hmm. I'd like to do the same with the other then and remove the door. All right. With that check, the door just kind of... <laughs> Is 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 no more. <laughs> no. I'll just prop it over here and we'll reassemble when we're done. Uh, See? No that's door closing. That's one way to do it. Well, you're skidding with the hammer. I mean, you haven't had to smith anything for a while, which is a shame. But that was impeccable. Hmm. 
Well, perhaps I should be more involved in the future projects. What was that? It's a library. Oh, sorry. I've never seen someone right after the ting ting ting. Shh. <laughs> what? It's a library. Uh, I think I think we have to be quiet. I've never been in a library before, except the other one over there. This one's forbidden. <laughs> Wow, look at all these books. Oh, there's so many books here. Wow. What do you books. see? Ah, wow, 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 wow. Do we all hear that? Huh. Yep. A book? Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, as you walk in, and you're kind of looking around, you'll just sort of hear it. You'll hear, What? Do you seek? Who's saying that? Then you're going to see right over here. Uh, Cheats, you recognize it as the book that you were looking through that starts hovering right over this carpet. Uh, we the seek the book on. Is this what you seek. Is it? That's not where I put it. What's going on up there? Is it? Is that the right one, though? I have no idea. I think it is. We think so. All right. And then the lights go out. <clears throat> Just make sure I got this going over here. I think we left the door open. Uh, time to skedaddle. <laughs> All right. So the following Peace. will happen in a very short time. Uh, the lights go out. Uh, I'm going to roll initiative. <laughs> I'm blind. And then for the briefest of moments, uh, you all will like a p true darkness will just pfft, kind of blink over you all as you feel yourselves shifting to a different location. Mm. So blind. today is going to be a bit of a, a special day. Oh, and it's, we are going to have uh, certain rules that I will need you to follow. Hmm. First what? off, I. <laughs> First off, oh, don't worry, we're good. I'll I'll explain all in due time. All in due time. So here's what's going to happen. You all are going to. You're being shifted around a little bit, and as you come to. Each one of you. Is going to be in a room alone oh. to add a little fun and, and spice to this oh. I will be server deafening all of you oh. undeafening you when it is your turn in initiative just so you feel alone oh. during a that is messed up during <laughs> August during a person's turn, I will ask you to please mute. Um, if you do not mute, I will have to server mute you. It just makes it a lot easier if you guys are managing your your mute state for me. I mean, deafen, mm. or or actually, just I'll server deafen you. I I I, oh. I would rather I would rather server deafen you so that way when it's your turn, I can undeafen. Okay. And, and I and for reasons I do need to have control of your surf, of, of your of your deafen essentially. So understood. Yes. So with that uh, and the initiative starting, I'm gonna server deafen all of you with the exception of Bloody. So I'll I'll see you guys <laughs> on the other side. Bye. <clears throat> all right. Deafen. 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 Oh. And deafen. Okay, so we are starting 
with bloody. Yay. First off, let's go ahead and begin uh, getting a little creepy here. This is toxic. Indeed it is. <clears throat> All right, Vanya, it is your turn. Vanya blinks a little bit and she adjusts to the darkness pretty easily. So... What? Where am I? What happened? Silence. Where is everyone? What did you do? Silence. Keep in mind that your movement that you make, you are an initiative order, so you have moved five feet already. <clears throat> um. Can I, can I actually see anything? Uh, you see what your token sees. Okay. Hmm. I think that's the end of my movement, right? I didn't I wasn't counting, but Okay. I think that's the end. All right. All right. Are you... you have an uh... action and bonus action remaining. Right. I'm trying to think of what I could do. Let me see. Who boy. Who boy. Boy, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared! <clears throat> I will have to ask you to take your action and bonus yes. action now before I end your turn. Yes. Um, could I, could I, could I cast a spell? I want to cast Cordon of Arrows. Okay. Go ahead and cast so, it. So, yes. Oh, cast at level. Oh. What is the difference? At if higher levels, if... when you cast a spell using a spell slot of third or higher, the amount of ammunition that can be affected increases by two for each spell slot above second. You will okay. see that in your spell when it says at higher levels. Thank you. What? It's not, I'm um, getting an error on, on Foundry. It's not letting me. Do you have ammunition on you? I, I should. Okay, let's go ahead and cast it so that we're not, so we can get to everyone yeah. else. All right, you plant four pieces of non-magical ammunition, arrows, or crossbow bolts in the ground within range and lay magic upon them to protect an area. So the spell mm -hmm. ends whenever a creature other than you comes within 30 feet of the ammunition for the first time on a turn or ends its turn there. One piece of ammunition flies up and strikes it. Um, so whenever a creature other than you comes within 30 feet of there. Okay, excellent. So I'm not actually just going to go ahead and just really quick, just kind of... Uh, make that mark right here. All right, you've you've cast the arrow spell. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no. Okay, then I will deafen you, and then we will continue. Bye. Cheats. Where did I put you? Ah, yes, there you are. <clears throat> uh, you appear oh. within this room. Okay. You are an initiative. So please remember that your movement will count. Um, any step that you take will count against your movement. Why? Okay. Uh, Are you willing 
to die for this knowledge. Uh, as Aldor said, no, no, no knowledge is worth dying for. Then it's a shame that you give your life so easily. A cold wind goes down your back. <laughs> It is now your turn. Uh, does this look like a wall? Mm hmm. That's a wall. You do see a door down here. Is there anything in the room, like, a, like on the desks or anything? The desks appear to be uh, empty. As in, like, nothing on top of them. Right. Uh, then while Sheets is moving, she will be checking for any kind of traps around her. Okay. Perception or investigation. And because you're an initiative, you will have to dedicate an action or bonus action to either. This won't be something that you'll be able to do passively, I'm afraid. We will do a bonus action. Okay. Just as a heads up, a bonus action does mean a higher DC. Ah. With a 28, you kind of give a quick glance around the room. This is definitely a very uncomfortable and unsettling situation that you've arrived into. However, uh, you feel very confident that there is nothing wrong with this room. Her, uh, her cat-like ears are going to turn backwards as she makes for the door. Okay. <laughs> she comes out. <laughs> the moment that you step out. A ghostly figure emerges from the ground and is now in pursuit of you. You may continue. Oh, oh. Sorry, I don't think that counts as part of my movement. No worries, we made a mistake. Oh, yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> You enter into a room that very much looks like the Forbidden Archives. There's also a door over here. <laughs> this entire place feels tipsy turvy to you. going to we're going to use our action to make my ring of mind shielding invisible okay you said you're making it invisible can you tell me a little bit more about that oh you're becoming invisible no, I can make the ring become invisible. Okay, I understand. So basically, it's like harder for them to try to remove it from me. Ah, I, I, I understand. That'll be you'll watch as that, yeah, you'll watch as the ring kind of just blinks away. And that's, uh, that's all I can do, unfortunately. All right. Uh, go ahead and hit uh, next turn for me, and then we will do a quick resolution. Excellent. So, um, before your turn ends,
You'll watch as the spiritual figure go through the wall. And through the wall? Reaches out with a touch. 14 to hit? No. All right. He manages to dodge through. I will now deafen you. All right. Lobo, see there? Ooh, yeah. Okay, let's find you. See where you mm. are at the map. Ah, yes, there you are. Uh, so, Gareth, you come, you come too. Mm. And you seem to be back in the Forbidden Archives. As a friendly reminder, you are an initiative, which means any movement action that you take uh, will be as if you were an initiative. So be mindful of your movement. Okay. Uh, he would, I think, immediately just kind of yell out, What have you done with him? And then he'll start moving around. Why are you here? I'm here to support my friends. Then you will perish along with them. We'll see about that. You see a door over here? Ooh. Uh, let's see. Five, ten, I just got it. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, because it shows like the... I've got like the after image of my character. Am I actually moving? Yes, you are. Oh, okay, okay, just making sure. Um, I will, I'll use action to double move. Okay. And then this is all, I mean, I have night vision, so mm -hmm. there's that, but it's like, I can see well enough uh, to that effect, I guess. You will watch as a spiritual figure emerges from the floor. It is now in pursuit of you. Hmm. Let's see here. I don't think there's anything I want to do with the bonus actions, so that would be it for me, I think. All right. Uh, as a resolution to the end of your turn, this thing approaches and then reaches out with its ghastly hand. Missing you. Hmm. All right. I'm going to deafen you now. Bye. Crowned you there? Hello. Excellent. It is your turn now. You will come to. You appear to be in the forbidden section of the library. All right. Uh, immediately. Uh, having heard the voice and then the darkness, uh, Marius is already holding his hammer, uh, and he is looking around very warily. Okay. For half a second, when nothing immediately happens, now that he can see again, he goes, Jeez. Gareth. Hello? Why are you here? The armor doesn't move, but inside Marius visibly tenses. Um, the grip on his hammer becoming white knuckled. We seek knowledge, a means to destroy Cosmotara. 
made a grave error. Mars raises the hammer a little bit higher, sort of as if in preparation for uh, retaliation. A moment passes. Nothing. And when that mo go on. No, oh, that's it. Nothing. When that moment passes, he lowers the hammer a little bit. An error as in that there's no knowledge here, or...? Nothing. He takes a step. All right. You are an initiative, so remember that your movement does count against it. All right. We seek answers. Do you not have them? Nothing. Where are my companions? Nothing. Uh, Marius. Ooh, never mind, I can't I don't have that prepared. Uh, Marius is going to walk up to one of the books uh, here amongst the bookshelves and just pluck it free. By doing so, you will watch as a specter emerges from the floorboards. It is now in pursuit of you. So you are here. It, it is in pursuit of me like it's coming to attack. It's approaching. Marius, sort of keeping the bottom of the book pressed onto the shelf, a finger sort of having lifted it about halfway, he stares at the approaching specter. We seek nothing more than answers, and we have been informed that you are the one to give them. You would be helping us. Its pursuit continues. Uh, provoke me to violence. He would push the book back into the shelf. Even though you have returned the book, its pursuit continues. So be it. <laughs> Marius raises his hammer. Okay. It is still uh, your turn. Yeah, uh, worried about his friends, worried about the situation that we've been put in. Uh, Marius immediately, the shoulders, uh, the sort of pauldron portions of his armor open, uh, and we're gonna just cast a third level magic missile. All right, let's see it. You'll just cast one and then we'll use, oh, never mind. Just, you already had it already calculated, nice. Wait, plus 2d6, what's that 2d6? I have no idea. <laughs> we have some interesting things added. We're going to go ahead There's and not take... even a 2d6 added to it. I have no idea where the 2d6 came from. So what we'll do is you, I'm going to take the d4. Um, we'll do the plus one because it didn't add it there, which means that you do have uh, five um, with a third level. That's five darts. So you will do 25 points of damage to this creature. You'll watch as each uh, dart of, of forceful energy collides with the specter. So this is no illusion. <laughs> and it seems to dissipate with each impact from the missile. All right. Yeah. Uh, as the pauldron portions open, the kinetic bombardment flies out, detonating across the specter. Uh, they relatch back into place, uh, and he... We're just going to move up. Okay. That's my turn. All right. At the end of your turn, uh, it's going to reach out and uh, fight back with a corrupting touch. Critical miss. Doesn't hit. You're free to end turn now. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Naomi, are you there? Yeah. All right. Let me see where you are at. Ah, yes, there you are. Okay. Here I am. Uh, you come to. You appear to be within the Forbidden Archives. As a friendly reminder, this is an initiative turn, which means any movement you take will go again, will expend movement. Oh. She looks at where the book was, or where she thinks the book was. Wait, can I see? I mean, you have night vision. See? Yeah. So okay. You, yeah. I can um, see what I can see. Excellent. Yep. Yeah, and she, she looks at where the book was when it was floating here, or what seems to be here. Not present. Mm hmm. Hmm. Where did everybody go? Hello? Why are you here? Oh, uh, Eldorus gave us permission to pick up the book on crafting spells. <laughs> he has no power here. Oh. You have made um, a grave mistake. Well, it's kind of to save the world from Kazma. Uh, the Cosma Clan. No further response given. Do you have it? Silence. She's gonna look for the book in these sh on these shelves. All right. What are you doing? She's looking for the the book. Describe it to me. Um. The, the floating book that we saw in the middle of the room briefly, that was Zika's one and only time seeing it. I believe it was red. <laughs> okay. No, I mean, describe describe right what uh, Vizika's oh, doing. Oh, okay. She's like, she's like looking over the shelves, squinting in this darkness, trying to see if there's a book that's like the same shade and size. And she's kind of looking through the shelves like, mm -hmm. running her claws over it. You have moved 15 mm. feet so far, just FYI. Yes. Also, you do not see the book. Mm. Mm. There's a door over to the east. That's... It looks like... Wait, there's a door. Wait, we took out the door! It's gonna open the door. Go for it. <laughs> we took out the door. I don't think I can go any further. Uh, your movement speed is 55. 55, and yeah. You and 50. The first one didn't count for some reason. Uh, that, it counts as five. That was five feet. I was keeping oh, okay. track. You will watch as a spectral presence emerges from the floor. It appears to be in pursuit oh. of you. Uh, are you Madam Hush? No response. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see, uh, does it look, uh, violent? Uh, it is pursuing you. Aggressively? <laughs> it is pursuing you. Are you going to help me find the book? No response. Uh, let's see. Vizika's... Can I... Wait, can I step of the wind if I haven't... I think I can. Okay. Vizika's going to step of the wind with a key point to dash... As a bonus action? Bonus action, yeah. Okay. Oh! Hello! Uh, 35, so I'll have 20 more. Hello! I'm looking for the book! Uh, the creature appears to be reaching out to you. Uh, <laughs> she reaches out her paws. All right, then. Uh, its touch begins to singe at your fur. 
This thing is clearly hostile. Ah! I thought you were gonna help me! Alright, she sighs and takes out her staff. I don't know if this is gonna do anything! You're gonna try it swinging. Okay. Uh, that does hit for a total of 17 points of damage. This is no illusion. Ooh. Definitely Ooh. a creature. Okay! Like, you didn't do that! That was mean! She's gonna attack again. That hits 12 points of damage. <sighs> and then, uh, with the rackling roll, she's gonna back I it up to that here. is a bonus action. Or uh, with mobile, <laughs> the feet. She's just gonna use her remaining action to. Or main movement. I understand. Yeah. Without yeah. Provoking it up. Yeah. Sounds good. Wow. Zika is offended. That is my turn. All right. Go ahead and hit end turn. Thank you. Thank you. Bloody, you there? Hello. All right. Let me get us over mm. to you. All right. Mm. Uh, last round, you placed some arrows down at the ground, mm -hmm. and that was it. So what are you doing now? I would like to make a, well, not a dash, but move and Oh, and just so uh, you are aware, there is a door here. Oh. And a door okay. there. So just, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I had not seen that, the, the one to the left. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I am uh, gonna move forward and open this door. Okay. <laughs> As you leave the area. You will watch as a spectral presence emerges from the ground. As it does so, immediately the arrows that you have placed on the ground fire. So, let me check for something real quick. Uh, to the spell ends, whenever a creature within you comes within 30 feet of the ammunition the first time it turns ends, one piece of ammunition flies up and strikes it, the creature must exceed a dexterity saving throw, take 26 damage. Okay, so I'm gonna make a dex save. What is your saving throw? Uh, my saving throw? Yes, what is your DC? 17. Can... That's your AC. Oh, my spell DC? Yes. 14. Okay. Thank you. All right. Go ahead and roll 1d6. One of the arrows immediately flies off to the to strike the, the ghastly figure. Thank you. Four points of damage. Uh, it strikes true against this uh, this ghastly creature, showing that this is no illusion. So there you are, you hag. It does not respond to you, but you can tell so, that um, it is, you can tell that it is in pursuit of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I moved 20 feet one direction. Mm -hmm. So uh, that means that I have one extra attack. Indeed you do. Because of my Rook's Chargers. Indeed so, you do. So, uh, uh-huh, I'm going to attack thrice against Let's see it. Uh, the Banshee. All right. <clears throat> uh, you strike true. Uh, you will see that the radiant energy from your cannon uh, seems to be especially efficient against this ghastly foe, dealing 22 points of damage. Yes! Uh, how do you like that? Uh, you hit again. 14 points of damage as you watch as ectoplasm just goes flying. Oh, that feels good. Uh, and with a second blast, the thing just... <laughs> as it just completely is eviscerated, evaporating away. Huh. Well, that was easy.
You open the door into what appears to be a study. You also see a door to the east. I'm going to move into this room. Okay. And uh, that will end. I'll end my turn here. (laughs) Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. All right, Momo, you there? Yes. This Uh ghastly presence uh, appears to be chasing you. Oh, God. It has Um, has tried to reach out to you. Um, You then hear, often, uh, let's see, this direction, the sounds you just hear. It is the sound of a weapon discharging. Oh, shit. Do you see my ping? Yes. Okay, excellent. Uh, are you mad him hush? No response. The creature uh, attempts to reach out again in a hostile fashion. I'm going to use my action to use panache. Okay. We're not here to hurt you. We just want information. The whole world will, is going to rely on it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. You will watch as the apparition stares over at you. Whether it be your pleas of 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 help or otherwise. You will watch his arm sink down. This creature seems to have an inability to speak. So instead, it sinks back to the floor, allowing you to continue on your way. having done that, like, kind of, like, grip at her chest, like, fuck. And she's gonna take off trying to look for the book and her companions. Okay. This is a reminder, you arrived at this door last. Yes. Okay. No, as in, like, you walked up to that door. You left from this room. I know. And, okay, just making sure. I just hadn't checked. I didn't check this room. I only opened the door in hopes okay. that there would be someone in there. <laughs> Sounds good. She'll come back to the door and kind of come inside, start looking around for the book. Okay. Yeah, this appears to be the Forbidden Archives. Bonus action dash. Okay. Just from a general, just a basic look over, because the book was at one point um, hovering here, it is no longer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, just gonna run back up here to the original place that she found the book, which would have been opposite mm-hmm. if we were flipped it, and look at, we're here for the book. Okay. Describe how Cheese looks for the book. Now she runs past, like, with her, like, silent feet, right? But that doesn't stop her, like, breath from making noise, so she just <sighs> comes around the corner, sees nothing, comes back and just starts, like, fumbling, looking through the books, like, pulling them out, like, dragging her, like, finger down the different spines, trying to see which one was which. As you begin pulling back at the books and kind of scrolling through them quickly, you'll immediately come to shock and surprise as you open a book 
the pages fall out, evaporating into ash. <laughs> Other books scattered as you pull around here begin to fall over, also evaporating into ash. And you will watch as another spectral figure emerges from the floor. This one appears to appears different, but its pursuit of you remains the same. You feel as if looking through this area that even though this appears to be the Forbidden Archive, it probably is not. Merely a room perhaps manifested by Madam Hush to keep you lost. It is still your turn. Come on. I know you're old, but damn, man, we're trying to try to fix things. She takes off. <laughs> she shuts the door. <laughs> and that'll be her turn. All right. At the end of your round, you will see shifting through the wall. Now blocking your way. I'll see you next round. <laughs> All right. All right. This um, this creature is uh, has is reaching out to you. Hey. Uh, I think Gareth would just be generally yelling out for his comrades, um, presumably hearing no response. Um, um, checking something real quick. Okay, yeah. Okay. So you, you're, you're just screaming and yelling. Yeah, just calling Marius and, uh, and Cheats Vanya. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Uh, he'll uh, do a couple slashes with his sword. Mm hmm. Oof. Uh, okay. Yeah, that'll miss. Attack number two. Uh, that'll hit 10 points of damage. Okay. Can I do perception to see if that is seems to be effective against the enemy? I mean, you're slashing through just as you would any other en enemy. It seems to be just as effective. This okay. clearly is not no illusion, but an actual threat. Okay. Um, then I will go ahead and do action surge and attack again uh that'll hit again mm -hmm. and that hits 14 points of damage you every slash you make just sort of begins tearing away at the ectoplasm okay uh for this one i'd like to do uh, a maneuver uh i thought i could yeah pushing attack Okay. Um, which will add extra damage. So here is the damage. All right. Seven points of damage. And uh, strength saving throw. Boop, 17 or more. Four. All right. And just push it straight back. Uh, it's five feet, I think. Yeah. Okay. He just kind of and then, uh, and then he'll make a break for this door down here. Okay. Whoosh. Wait, what was that? What was that? Okay. Calling out to his companions ag yet again. Okay. Vizika! Uh, and that would be it for him. All right. At the end of your round, you will watch uh, as... One second. Let's see. Five... 10, 15, 20. It continues its pursuit and reaches out towards you. 23 mm. to hit. That does. 13 points of necrotic damage. 
All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, Marius. Hello. Hello. Marius, as you're swigging, you hear <laughs> three blasts from this direction. I'm sorry, uh, this direction. Do you see the ping? I did. Okay. Uh, Marius's attention is briefly drawn to the noise, uh, but then once again settles on the specter. Um, he's going to take a swing. All right. Let's see how you do. A 12. Hmm. Is sufficient. 15 oh points of damage. <laughs> Okay. Uh, as the hammer collides, uh, sort of connecting against this incorporeal being, he would draw back, raise it overhead, and then slam it down again. Okay. Uh, that'll and hit. I would add shocking to this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the shocking is inefficient. Understood. Uh... As this one connects, sort of slamming down, he'd rear the hammer back, uh, and he, I would cast Ignition Blast, uh, but we're in a library. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like that'll go very poorly. Um, instead, as he pulls this hammer away, he goes, I understand that you are a specter, and I apologize for whatever torment has befallen you. I will free you so that the Reaper may guide you home. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, uh, in response, uh, it will reach out to you again. 23 to hit. Oh, shield. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. I'll see you soon. Hello. Hello. Can I just go? It is your turn. Okay. Wow. So well, seeing as the ghost didn't disappear, I'm just going to hit it again because I don't like it. We're going to do an attacky. Okay. Uh, one second. I have to do one quick change. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, so you're just going to go for the attack? Yeah. Um, what was your flaming damage last time? Scrolling, 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 Five, scrolling. Okay. Um, just so you are aware, you actually only dealt two points of damage with your Understood. Flaming. And then the one point, so the 10 d does hit, and the flaming damage that you deal, uh, it doesn't deal anything. No! Okay. Uh, while you're attacking, you hear <laughs> three consecutive shots of a weapon discharging from over here. <gasps> does this sound like Vanya's gun? It's too muffled to make that make that conclusion off sound. Okay. Vizik is going to attack again. That hits. Six points of damage. And then we're going to spend another key point to do flurry of blows. Okay. Uh, right here. That hits. Ten points of boom, damage. Boom. Boom. The curse lingers. Dang. <laughs> she turns around. Oh, yeah! I'll be there soon! <laughs> <laughs> and then she she runs back to be closer to this thing. All right. I'll okay. see you in a few minutes. Okay. Or is it going to attack me? Um, yes. 
Okay. <laughs> Does a 22 hit? <laughs> does it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. You will take 19 points of necrotic damage. <laughs> wow. I'll, that I'll hurts. see you soon. Yeah, man. All right. Uh, Vanya. Hello again. Hello. Uh, um, you hear... From this direction, can you see the ping? Yes. I'll see you soon. Huh? Who was that? The Zika, was that you? Nothing. Vanya is getting visibly, well, no one is there to see it, but visibly irritated and stressed out by the situation. Uh, where is everyone? And she's gonna open this door. All right. You enter into more library. I hate this place. Right, you've moved 30 feet. Oh. Um, that's gonna be my turn! <laughs> um, you do are aware of dash actions, correct? Uh, yes! But the thing is, I don't... Okay, well, I guess I could... No, I, I don't want to influence your decision. I just want to no, make no, sure no, that you know I, about it. Yeah, I can't see any doors right now. Okay. I can assume, I guess. If you would like to end your turn, you are free to do so. So, dash, I can just take and just do another 30 feet, right? That is correct. Okay. Well, I'm going to do that. Okay. Actually. <clears throat> Okie okay dokie. here, I'm going to end my turn. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye. Sheets. Yes. The specter is blocking your way. <laughs> oh, come on. Look, I really don't want to hurt you. And this one emerges <laughs> to observe. This is the one that is panached by you currently. Damn. <laughs> yes. Can I have multiple creatures charm? I mean, uh, is there a limit to your panache? Uh, I don't read one. If you don't read one, then yes. Uh, as an action, I would like to try to persuade the specter. Okay. Let's see it. Please. Me and my friends don't. We, we just want help. All right. This specter looks past you over to this specter. It gives a nod. And then both will. Oh, come on. response. <laughs> She'll take off. <laughs> All right. Uh, you will hear 
from this direction. Vika? She'll keep running. Looking for the book as she goes. Okay. Stupid book. Stupid book. Stupid outdoors. Stupid. Stupid library. We got a bonus action dash. Hell yeah. That will be our turn. Okie dokie. I'll see you then. <clears throat> All right, Gareth. Mm. Uh, Gareth will swing at the Banshee. Okay. Sweet. Uh, that will hit 10 mm -hmm, points mm -hmm. of damage. Mm, I'll add on a maneuver. Um, and I'll try and do a trip attack. Okay. So extra damage. And this. DC right. 17 strength save. Let's see it. Misses. Uh, you deal how much damage? Four? Uh, the four, yes. Four extra. All right. Uh, it failed, so where would you like to push it? Uh, no, no, no. This was a trip attack, so it's, it should go prone, if it can. <laughs> it's like, can this thing go? Uh, <laughs> it, it cannot go prone. Okay, that's fine. I still got <laughs> more like, I still got be, more damage, so. <laughs> that, would be, that would be funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, let's swing again. Uh, that will hit as you watch as the ectoplasm evaporates from your blades. Uh, you will hear from this direction. What? This is Gareth. He's going to start running that way. Okay. Let's see. I'll run 30. And I forgot that I got this new toy that I can Queen's Shawl teleport 30 more. Okay. For as a bonus. And... Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. <clears throat> Bye. Marius. Hello. Mm hmm uh, how's this figure looking? Uh, it's looking pretty weak right now. Is it, how's it, what's its face looking like? Um, the same wailed expression it had been given you before. Understood. We're going to attack again. Okay. Ah, beautiful. With your strike, you will watch as ectoplasm dissipates with the, the the blow of your hammer. You will notice a a bookshelf door over to the south. Mm. Uh, slamming his hammer through the incorporeal being as it's scattered into ectoplasm, he would sort of hold his hammer aloft and very quietly say, "Go in peace." And then uh, we're gonna go to the door. Okay. Rattle, rattle, kick open. <clears throat> One moment, please. Vanya, you hear the sound of a door breaking open. Where is it coming from? From here. You hear <laughs> okay. and a door being kicked open. Heavy footfalls uh, announce his presence as he storms into the room, hammer held up. He looks around and he would uh, he would call out. He's gonna call out for cheats first. And Go ahead, then... do so. Cheats, Gareth, 
Is there anybody here? Marius! Is that you? It's good to hear your voice. Indeed, my friend. I haven't seen any of the others, but I dealt with my specter. I haven't seen anyone. But I did hear Vizika, I think. Marius pauses for a moment, sort of looking at the room. Is it safe to assume this is where I heard the three blasts come from? Yep. Uh, I already used my action. That's my full movement. <laughs> I'm here towards the other end of the wall. <laughs> All right. Now that you two are in the same room, uh, I will be undeafening both of you uh, during either of your turns. Sounds good. <clears throat> All right. Ooh, Let's see what you got. Man. Okay. We're going to smack it. Wow. Uh, you, yeah, it dissipates into ectoplasm down to the ground. Good. No book in there? Uh, no. Okay. Um, she's going to run out and look down to where she heard the noise from. Was the noise coming from the hallway? Uh, what noise are you referring to? The muffled to? noise that she heard that sounded like three pop, pop, pop. Uh, I had, all, I had pointed out what that was last round. Mm, okay. Is this actually a door? Ooh, I didn't mean to click that. Uh, yes, that is a door. Okay. Is it, can I see it? Yeah. If you if if you can see the door icon, then you can see the door. Okay, and I mean there's bookshelves there, which is why I ask. Yeah, is it like it's behind a, it's, the... yeah, it's a door built within into the bookshelf. Oh, all right, she's gonna run up to it. <laughs> she's gonna open the door. And then we're gonna Jeez. step of the wind. You oh. uh, hear the sound of a door opening. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Gonna continue. Uh, continue, Vizika. Spending a key point to step of the wind and dash and going in here. You hear rapid foot uh, steps approaching you. Nope, my feet don't make sounds. No, as in you oh. hear rapid footsteps approaching. Oh. <laughs> you hear this? Ah. You're the one that hears ah. it. You real? Yeah, I just killed the thing over there. You killed it? Yeah. What do you mean? I killed the ghost. Why what did you kill it? it? I don't know. What do you mean? What? It attacked me. I thought it was gonna give me a book and then it hurt me instead. So I was like, okay. But we're supposed to be here though, trying to figure out where the book is, not killing things. Oh. Oh. Okay! <laughs> I made two of them leave me alone! Wow! It's... I'm not a pacifist! <laughs> I already checked that way! Okay, which way did you not check? Where you came from? Oh, okay, there's more doors up there and a hallway. Okay. Alright, that's all my movement. Alright, now that you two have found each other, I will unmute both of you during either of your turns. Awesome. All right. Uh, Vanya, it is your turn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Um, actually... Marius, where should we go? I'm still navigating this maze. I've only found the one chamber that I'm in. <sighs> Have you heard any of the others? I heard your gun through the wall. I, I think I heard Vizika. But I'm not sure where it came from. 
Vanya I mean, is directionally challenged, so she, even though, you know, you pointed out where it came from, she, she didn't really realize where it came from. I'm sorry, Marius, uh, what did you say? Uh, are there any doors near you? Well, there's a door I came from. Uh... And then there's more doors that I haven't explored yet. Uh, Vanya, you will see a red glow coming from here. What in the... What is that now? Marius! What? Have you... Have you seen any... Red glowing things around here? I haven't, no. Well... I guess I'll have to go and take a look, huh? As long as you're safe. We'll see about that. Hmm. Ah, well, uh... <clears throat> I'm gonna dash. Okay. Alright. And then you will see an, a secondary red glow over to the south. Can I tell what this is? It's just a it is just a red glow. I don't like that. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't look good. You're much harder to hear. Well, uh bad news! I guess. I'm gonna end my turn here. Okay. Cheats. It is now your turn. Oh god. Music is gonna point. I see a light over there. Through the door that she came from. A light? Red. Oh shit. Uh, I mean, quiet. Me what? Nothing. Okay, come on. I'll be right behind you. She's going to pick up Vizika <laughs> as a backpack. Okay. Yeah, you guys will be moving at half movement speed. <laughs> Where'd you see the light? Um, she points to. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to uh, touch that. She points to that doorway. It's right there, like a second ago. Oh, now it's to the left. Bonus action dash. <laughs> what did we recently? Uh, <laughs> a lot of things. I had three cakes, and then I also had some of my rations. And then, actually, there's not that much. I feel like I've been on a diet this entire time. And I will action dash. Indeed, you shall. <laughs> As you got a little Vizika Yoda on your back. Oh, God. Oh. She'll set her down. Okay. Uh. Thanks. I should look at the book. Uh, yeah, you see a a a, a door uh, behind the, these books. Oh, you think I should open it? Yeah. Okay. Why didn't I get? I knew the answer to that before I asked it. Why didn't I even? I'm gonna open the door. <laughs> what the? Like 
<laughs> big. Like really big. Is there anything oh, okay. else you'd like to do for your run? Novizika. Yeah. If any more of these things come, don't, don't just kill them. Okay, but the one that I killed is really right and it's under your feet. Huh? You're standing in the <laughs> ectoplasm. <laughs> <laughs> you could have you told me. I mean. Oh, it can take days to get that out of my little pool. I'll clean it for you. Wait, Marius can clean it with magic for you. Oh, yeah, that'll go down real well. Huh, Marius, can you clean my little cat toes? Yeah, that'll go down him. well. You can blame me. It's my fault. That will be my turn. <laughs> All right, see you guys soon. Uh, Gareth. Hello. You start hearing from over here. Let me see if I can get this again. Yep. Yeah, from uh. from, from from over here, you hear. <laughs> okay. Um, based on the voice before that, he'll call out Vizika and keep running in the in that direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. 30. There's a door over here. Okay. I'll uh, take double move action. Mm -hmm. Kaboom. Zoom. Oh. Zoop. Uh, Vizika and Cheats, you will hear the door, a door open from behind you with Gareth walking in. Hello? Cheats. Vizika. Hello? Are you all right? Yeah. Are you real? I'm real. Okay. Watch this. And Gareth will do his, uh, 30 foot teleport. Zoop. <laughs> <laughs> It's me. Hi. Where, have you found the others? No. Are you all right? I killed a ghost. Me too. No. And then we found this red light. Why are you killing them? Why am I, ki Why am I killing the ghost? Yes. Instead of letting it kill me? No, I mean like they're supposed... What if they're trying to help us? Well, I... We the whole well, thing. it was helping me die. I thought it was gonna help me give give me a book, and so I reached out my hands for the book, and then it hit me instead. That was my experience. Anyway, is this room a place you would not been then? We haven't been. She points in this direction. We haven't been there yet. We just opened it because it had a red light. All right. Let's see if we can find them. Uh, that's all I could do. All right. Uh, whenever it is now uh, Garrus' turn, Cheats' turn, or Vizika's turn, I will un unmute all three of you. Oh. All right, Marius, it is now your turn. Okay. Uh, hearing... Vanya stepping away and uh, getting a little further. Um, God, what can I do? We're going to cast uh, Expeditious Retreat on myself. Okay. Uh, so I can bonus action dash. Wonderful. I'm going to... Do I know where Vanya was talking from? Yeah. Uh, over here. Uh, he Freaking. Kind oh, of actually, pain. I can see the red light right here. Yeah. I, my, my ping is no longer working, so. I'm going to yeah. start heading towards the red light if that's okay. Yeah, go for it. Fantastic. What a bonus action dash. <laughs> then I'm going to action dash. <laughs> Oh, oh, there you are. <laughs> Correct. Action dash. Uh, Action dash. I would have 105 would be my limit. There we go. 
No, oh, hey there. Did you find what the source of the red light was? No, I can only see the light itself. And there's another one coming over from that door over yonder. Do you feel anything? It, it looks as if it's touching you. Uh, do I feel anything, DM? Uh, a slight warmth. Warmer than this, this chill that you all have been experiencing. Slight warmth, but it's not unpleasant. Hmm. And have you seen any of the doors? There is one straight ahead. I don't know if I saw any other doors from where I came, but we should continue to explore. Hopefully we can find the others. All right, is that the That's end of room. your round? Okay, I'll see you guys soon. I got deaf and uh, undeaf and a lot of more folks. <laughs> uh, you guys, uh, yes. Yeah, so it is now Vizika's turn. I have a question, DM. Was my initiative ever rolled? Because I see a dice icon. And for some reason, di this, this, it, yes, yeah. The answer is yes. Um, okay. As to why the initiatives keep resetting, I have no answer for that, unfortunately. Can I click the button? N no. Okay. Uh, okay, Vizika's looking for the source of this red light. Yeah. What is it? Where is it coming from? It's just, it, it's just a, like a general, like, red light that is in the area. There's a slight mm. warmth to it, but it doesn't okay. seem to have a place of origin. Okay, should we look in this room or in that hallway, she points. It's a hallway and it has two more doors. You mean this one? Yeah, I haven't been in there yet, but I just opened the first door, but it's, it's a hallway, just like the one we came in from, but it's different. But it's the same kind of thing, but it has got two doors that are closed. Well, I imagine one my one of our companions may be ahead and the other in the other hallway. We mm. split up. Mm. You two go on ahead. I'll check the hallway behind you, Vizika. I could probably reach the doors in, like... <coughs> in one turn! Very well, if you wish. Okay! She's gonna do that. Um, She's gonna run... Oh, wow, okay, that's counting my steps from when I was moved by cheats. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... 40 feet. She's gonna run in here and open this door. Mm. Gonna peek in. Forty-five. The room mm. appears to be empty. Fifty. Fifty-five. We're gonna. Uh oh. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Oh, you're free. You can go now. <laughs> oh, we're gonna step of the wind. Dash. Okay. So here, fifteen. Open this door. <laughs> Hello. Hmm. Uh. Twenty. Forty-five. Wait. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Forty-five. Fifty-five. Okay. So the first room, she points over here, has no doors. There's just a bunch of desks. And then the other one down the hall looks kind of like the library that we came from. And there's a really big desk and like a lot of rows of shelves. But I didn't see anybody or hear anybody. And nobody yelled back when I said hello. Um, but like it keeps going down. Well, if we can remember... Feel free to dive deeper and we can meet back here. Uh, put the, do you have anything you can put down? Um, so we don't get lost? I have a rope. Vizika drops three pitons. Okay. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. And I'm just gonna go down, and then I'll come back this way. Don't get lost. Yeah, you too. These like, Love you, bye. These things seem to like me or something. They don't like me that much. I hope I don't run into any more. Uh, we're gonna action dash. Okay. Is it possible to double? You can double dash, right? Yeah. That is correct. You can spend okay. an action to dash and a bonus action to dash. All right. So here we go. Five. Fifty. She calls out again. Hello. And that's it. Okay. All right, it is now uh, Vanya's turn. Oh. Well, you already went. It's uh, unfortunately it it, it uh, Vizika dropped out of the initiative randomly. It's been happening for that, so I had to do uh, Vizika's turn, and the initiative moved you around. So understood. Yeah, the entire round has not gone through. Okie dokie. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna go and check out that other door. Lead on, I'll be right behind you. Marius, do you, do you think that Guilty Spark might be helping us in some way? Perhaps. Perhaps the lights are some form of indicator or guide? I thought it was an enemy at first, but I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Wish me luck. Go with luck. I'm gonna dash. Okay. And go in this room. Vasika, you hear the door open to the south. Hello? Hello? Hi! Hello? Oh my god! Uh, it's you! Is, yeah! Um, I, I have uh, Cheats and Gareth are, are back in this direction! Marius is over here too! Oh, that's great! Alright, one moment, please. Uh, with that, you are all together again, able to communicate by... Uh, through, uh, you guys now know where everyone is, and you are within a distance that you can pass messages along to each other. Essentially, you can talk to each other now, so I don't have to serve, I don't have to serve a deaf in all of you anymore. Mm. Zika's gonna yell back to Cheats and Gareth. Hey! Marius and, and Vanya are over here! Okay, we'll head that way. And then you'll watch as the uh, light fades away, uh, Marius and Vanya. Vanya, is it dead ends or more doors in your direction? There's more doors. We also have more doors. Which one should we go for first? I don't know. I think we can get to you faster than you can get to us. Probably. Okay. Come on! Well, I have no more movement, so I'll have to end here. Okay, make sure to hit... Uh, Marius, did you hear all this, by the way, or were you too far? I think I... Yeah, everyone, I heard it all? everyone can communicate uh, effectively between each okay, other okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Uh, make sure to hit end turn on your combat tracker, please. All right, cheats. Okay, um... She's going to look to Gareth. Oh, wait. If they're over there, and we haven't checked up here, let's face it, I'm faster than you. I'll go check here. These specters or whatever seem to like when I talk to them. So if I find one, I'll just run away again. And then I'll come down here and meet back up with you if I can't find the book up north. All right, I'll wait here for you. Um, maybe wait next to the door. That way we can... You can still see where they are. 
Hmm. I can hear them from here, so good enough communication. I'll make it. I'll make it over there then. Okay. <gasps> Be careful. She'll take off. All right. Entering into the room, cheats. You immediately recognize as you look around. This is the library that you were just in with uh, with Guilty Spark. Like, everything else has just been, like, books everywhere and all these rooms, but, like, this room definitely feels familiar. And you, uh, can also, you, you also feel like you may, you might be on the right track. Because. <sighs> Garrett, I think, I think this is the right way. I think you're right. As you'll watch as another specter emerges from the from the floor. Now that we are back, I can actually roll initiative for these creatures. Oh. Oh god, don't look at me. You guys yell to us that it's the right way. Uh, you can indeed tell Gareth. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ju uh, just, um, just assume. Okay. Now that I have you all undeafened. Okay. Unless you guys are, uh, unless I'm being told that you you're keeping, keeping things secret, secret from other members, mm -hmm. that you Understood. all that you all are communicating uh, this with each other by like Got an exchange it. of like telephone or things like that. Okay. We're gonna try again, holding up our hands and and telling them we don't want to hurt them, or she doesn't want to hurt them. Mm-hmm. Alright, try again. Okay. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. She kind of like blinks a few times. It will respond on its turn. If you could help us, that would be really great. <laughs> Marius in the background. Boy, I can't wait to punch a ghost in the face. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! And I will bonus action dash. Uh, not so fast. <laughs> uh. As another one emerges from the floor. It is still your turn. Look, your friends, your friends. Um, we just want answers. No Maybe response. We could come to a truth. No response. need you to take the rest of your turn, please. Yes. Yes, I know. I'm trying to read my racial. All good. Does a, a push? I guess I already used my action. Does a push count as uh, an action? Is it like a. It, it is a part of an attack, yes. Okay. You're gonna run the other way. But also, be wary, these creatures are incorporeal. 
So while your weapons do connect, especially those of the magical variety, um, physical interactions like shoving someone out of the way is uh, maybe uh, difficult to do. Sure, but it still would it still count as me making the attack? And what do you, it would count as part of the attack? Yes. I'm just trying to see whether or not they'd be able to hit me because I wouldn't provoke opportunity attacks if I make an attack. Mm, I see. So what you're, I'm oh, asking I see what you're if it matters yes. if it lands. Oh yes. So I mean, I know what you're talking about, and yes, you are able to do that and still disengage without taking the op. Perfect. Because yeah, it is. Even though it's an ineffective attack, it is still an attack. <laughs> Perfect. She just kind of like calls out, this is bigger than you and it's bigger than me. I guess I can't squeeze by her. <laughs> you can, you can, you can. I'll, I'll let you cross through. <sighs> so you did, was your action panache? Yes. So you're using your bonus action, I guess, to make the attack? I bonus action dashed. This is me just straight running through them. In hopes gotcha. they won't attack me. Okay, so uh, it cro you cross through, um, which is fine. I, I will allow this just this once without the... Uh, but you do have to dedicate an attack to get the disengage from Oh, your... yeah, I know. I wasn't meaning to get disengaged this time. She's in good faith and hoping it won't hit her. Oh, yeah, okay, Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm not declaring that <laughs> okay, I'm doing it. I thought you it. were like, and, and you can't hit me, neater, neater. I'm like, no, no, oh. no, 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 no. I definitely wasn't doing that. I'm just, oh, she's, okay. she's hoping that I see, it won't hit her. I see what her. you're saying. <laughs> I'm just I role-playing it. I 100% see you. So you're just desperately running through, pushing. Okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure everything was in the dough. No, so yeah. when yeah, you know great. when she did she this to you, you in the back of the head. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, when she did attack, so she does attack you. Um, fortunately, it's a nat one and misses completely. Um, but she, you see her reach out for you. She had to try. Her boss was watching. Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh God! <laughs> that will be my turn. Excellent. I like to imagine she like ran through her and was like, "Oh no, you did! Oh, no, that, oh. That's exactly what ha happened. You <laughs> ran through her. You didn't run around. You like ran through her. You got the ecto goo on you right now. It's gross. <laughs> she reaches out." And misses, so that you keep charging forward. Yeah, she's just like, oh, oh uh, god, oh god, it's fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gareth. All right, <clears throat> uh, Zika, bring them to where we met up. Cheetahs, run ahead. I'm going after her. Okay. And uh, yeah, you see. Mm. Yeah, you see creep. You see. Uh, you see banshees before you. Okay, ready? Oh, I can't go behind. I was gonna nothing personnel, but he teleports with mm -hmm. bonus action and slashes. Tee hee hee. Tee hee. Sorry, I didn't oh. do that. I didn't oh, I was like, this. you just died? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. It's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> sick, right? Uh, you this is true. Real time action the combat. Fiendish Forge. <laughs> Please don't attack them, huh? <laughs> You ever played DDR while playing D and D? Well, that's what this is. <laughs> uh, that hits again, nine points of damage. Not thirty-five. Don't know where wow. that came from. <laughs> wow! Wow! Uh, blah, 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 blah. uh that's it. Okay. Uh, yep, this thing's going to reach out to you. Thirteen's gonna miss. <laughs> and then. Uh, the Zika. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're gonna have to run. Um, 
Gonna... <laughs> She's gonna pitter patter up here and once more glance in the study, like just, just checking to see if she missed anything in here. Okay. Does it look like there's anything on these desks at all? It doesn't appear to be. Eh. All right, and we're gonna, we're gonna. Do I want to step out the wind again? Oh, I suppose why not? We're gonna step of the wind once again. Woo! Woo! <clears throat> ah! Are we killing it? I started. <laughs> Leaving his sword through it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Ooh. Should I throw a bomb? Not at me. <laughs> Should I throw a bomb? Tosses bomb, ignites all the books on fire immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, should I roll wisdom dawns. for that? <laughs> uh, I, I have known players who rolled wisdom for um, hasty decisions. Yes. Is, would that be an ability check or a saving throw? I would count it as a ability check, but I would also count it as <laughs> you deciding the DC and doing what you wish with that. She's going to look again. Should I throw it at the ghost? <laughs> I... Up to you. Did I just hear you say you're gonna throw a bomb? Yeah! <laughs> what the fuck? bombs over there! Do not! Okay! What part of we don't wanna hurt them? Do you not understand? This Are we not hurt? hurt? Oh. The hags, what? <laughs> okay, I can't really hit it then. Okay, she's gonna try to shoot it with a short bow. Get it! <laughs> Poink. <laughs> oh uh, god, it's all over me. Uh, that Ooh. will hit, uh, but only deals five points of damage. Ah. Mm. All right, I'll shoot it again. Uh, that will also hit, but only <laughs> deals four points of damage. Here's the bow. What the fuck? <laughs> your arrow, I'm target practicing. Your arrow gives a <laughs> squelching sound through the ghost. <laughs> Marius. <laughs> Stand by for friendly fire. Uh, <laughs> here comes the metal. Clunk, 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 clunk. <laughs> I'm coming. Clunk, clunk, clunk. <laughs> clunk, 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 clunk. <laughs> clunk, 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 clunk. You just hear in the distance, just. They're <laughs> <laughs> coming the? through the walls. Uh, that was my bonus action to dash, my full movement, and then my action to dash. That is my full turn. Little bow. All right. So, <laughs> uh, y'all free next week? Because <laughs> we still got a whole <laughs> session. Yes. Uh, we still got a whole session ahead. So. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. The curse of the finale. Yes. <laughs> We figured uh, it out. We're so uh, good at drawing it out. We don't a never want to ending long. campaign. The other rooms, I mean, like, we could really extend this. <laughs> really? Just really. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, that wraps up today's session. What do you guys think? Did you guys have oh, shit. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's a cool mechanic. I love playing D&D &D with you guys. Oh, I love exactly. Likewise. I love playing D&D &D with you. <laughs> Same. Yeah, it's, uh, I was, yeah, today I was like, ooh. What if right. everyone was alone? <laughs> like, I don't know what it is, but the last two, like, episodes, I've really felt like our characters exist together and, oh, like, yeah. care yeah. about each other. It's been really great. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Um, so, yeah, next week, then. We'll, uh, we'll, like I said, it's not even, like, next week we'll do an hour. It's, like, next week there's, like, still, like, an entire, like, session <laughs> still, so... So yeah, um, but uh, yeah, we'll 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 go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do bingo. I wonder Ooh. if one of the bingos bingo. is gonna be that the session doesn't actually. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Finale part two. 
I would believe that. I would also shake my fist and be like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> God, I want barbecue ribs now. Anyone hungry? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. You guys want to go grab something to eat after this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, I, I would wish. just taste something like this. I if wish. I get in my car now, I should make it at least by like two days. I wish, dude. All right. The final lesson. Part one. <laughs> uh, Madam Hush has a deadly ability. Oh mm. no. The monodrome chose a name for themselves. They did. Oh. <gasps> Yay! They skipped the travel to get to the library. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah. I, I, it's, <laughs> what did you want? <laughs> and they wa did you want Lord of the Rings? Just be like, and they walked <laughs> and they kept walking. <laughs> I got it. I don't got it. Uh no. Gareth C invisibility comes in handy. No. Guilty Spark guides the party out. No. Cheats reveals what she sent to Hellebore. No. Uh, Madam Hush won. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so you guys are out to get us today. Marius prize <laughs> info out of cheats? I don't think so. That's next session. Yeah. Marius shit talks wizards now that Al's not there. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be such an that's interesting. Also later. Yeah, it's uh, such an interesting mood to be like, you know what? I, I kind of respect Al a little bit more. And then you leave the room and you're like, fucking nerd. Fucking uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gareth, um, per, per, uh, someone say that word? I can't say perpetuates. it. Perpetuates. Thank you. Uh, Gareth uh, perpetuates his lies about wizardry. No. <laughs> Somebody tries reading a different book in the library. I mean, technically, yeah. You, you grab him all sorts of books. Bazika sets the library. <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> So close. He's so, a so close. <laughs> oh, I, I love I, that you I, thought of that. I, Holy I shit. Don't I don't look at the I don't look at the bigger <laughs> sheets beforehand, so this is that amazing. Just, it's amazing. really funny. Uh Vanya gets to fire her charge beam. Next session, uh, baby. Next oh, session, baby. The party discovers the cadaver collector is gone. No. Mm. Eldritch Knight Wizard Gareth, no. Cheese gets caught <laughs> using non-suppressant drugs. No. Level up? No. I'm an asshole. You don't you, you gotta earn that level. Uh Vizika bakes a celebration cake? No. <laughs> Marius gets the final no. Uh, <laughs> reference is made about Al taking an extra library book. No. Marius tried to upgrade the monodrome. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not only tried, but succeeded. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Marius hashtag looms. I don't know what that means. Can someone like looming over someone? I would assume, which he did over the modern drone. It there was, was mentioned of how tall he was. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the restricted section has some sort of sound-based mechanic. Ooh. <laughs> wow. True. Actually, actually, yes. Yeah. Yes. You guys have been screaming at each other. That's great. That's good stuff. Well, um, not our best of bingo. I'm gonna be real with you, but uh, <laughs> you know. You can't luck. win them all, you know? Yeah, better luck <laughs> next week, L O L M A O. I can't wait when next week I go, <laughs> I go, hey guys, it's I the mean... finale. And they're like, didn't you do that last week? And I'm like, you don't know me. Shut up. <laughs> and they're like, We're sorry right. that you don't get a break. <laughs> yeah, they go, all right, Attack on Titan, final season, yeah. part four, mm -hmm. part two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll see you guys next week <laughs> for the final, final lesson. And get rid of this. Part one. Thank you. Part that one. was really cool mechanics. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'll Have see fun. you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.